Congratulations on the, another installment of Marvel Rising. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, what's it like coming back to this iconic role? And I want to ask also, what is it about Miss Marvel that you can connect with or relate to? Um, I, first of all, it's super exciting. Anytime I get to reprise my role as yes. Miss Marvel, and especially with all these great actors and the characters, uh, seeing them come into their own and work together to be the new superheroes is always so much fun. Um, I have more in common with Kamala than I don't have in common with Kamala. Ooh. So for me, it's very, very, very easy to fall into that role again. I mean, I'm also first generation American. I also have parents from the East who come from a Muslim background and, um, and I'm also very enthusiastic about the work that I get to do. It's not, I'm not quite a superhero, but it's, you know, I, I love, I love do, doing what I'm doing as an actor and um, I can understand the joy and the, the enthusiasm that Kamala has. So for me, it's, it's a dream come true to play somebody that I, that I connect with so well. Now, how do you welcome Sophia into the group and how do you welcome Ironheart? to the story in this latest installment. Sophia is really easy to welcome into any setting. She's so sweet and so um, just genuine and, and humble and just adorable. And I love Sophia. She's, she's so sweet. Um, and I, yeah, she's, she's a lovely person. I mean, everyone is. She's very, very sweet. Um, and Ironheart, I mean, it's, it's wonderful to have such a young uh, woman prodigy who is able to, you know, build so much on her own, um, come into this, come into this universe because it's, um, it's always great to see such an empowered woman take, take matters into her own hands and, and make and create the world that she wants to see. I totally agree. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Before I get to Marvel Rising, I just want to say I was a South by Southwest. We, we miss you there. I love Mother's Little Helpers. You saw yeah. it? Big fan That's of the movie. That's so nice. Thanks. <laughs> I spoke with Brida and Sam, so uh, now I get to speak That's with you. That's <laughs> so great. Thanks. Uh, I'm so happy you saw it. Now, um, congratulations on this latest installment. What's it like coming back to Squirrel Girl, especially with Iron Heart around? It's the best. Squirrel Girl is a dream. Yeah. There's a yeah. She's just like the silliest, funnest character. So, to get to pretend to be here is actually just really good for me. And I think I, we should all have to pretend to be someone like who's better than us for a couple hours a week. And how is she with the uh, Ironheart? Uh, where is she? A uh, compatriot, like or rival, or what's what's the relationship there? I think at first she really looks up to Riri because okay, admiration. Yeah, well, you know, Riri is like really resourceful and uses what she's got to get what she wants, uh -huh. uh, including an incredible t understanding of uh, tech and making the world a better place, which is very much in line with what Squirrel Girl wants. Nice, nice. So, uh, what? <laughs> before I let you go, I want to ask about the girl power themes because there's so many strong female characters in this yes. installment. Uh, so, what does it say to female audiences out there? This Marvel Rising installment. What does it say to female audiences? What does it say to male audiences? Oh. <laughs> what does it say? Fair well, enough. because for so long, we've mostly seen, and especially in the superhero world, like, you know, white male superheroes. And it's so nice to see a bunch of women of color and people of color being powerful and cool. And, you know, those superheroes exist, too. Yay. Well, thank you for talking to me. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations.